which leads us to another thing that you need to know how to do, and that is calculating percent composition. Well, what is that? Well, it's done by mass. That's the important thing. You're going to look at the different elements in the compound, and you're going to say, compared to the total mass, what is the percent mass of each element? So you can see that that will lead to some entertaining things. For example, if you had two iron-containing compounds, then you could be wondering which one you had in front of you. A pair of samples, right? Which one has the higher iron content? Express it as a percent composition. So first of all, we are going to do one with the aluminum because we were just working with it. Then we will do this question. All right, so let us do the percent by mass of aluminum in the aluminum oxide. We can simply say, I've got one mole of this. That will make it the easiest thing, right? Then we could say that if I'm trying to figure out of aluminum in this, that means that I'm talking about aluminum within aluminum oxide. Every one of these actually contains two of those, right? That way I have a decent idea. There are two aluminums, so there's two aluminums. That's the whole thing. I can go and look these up then. I'd already done the two aluminums before. It's right here. In my previous thing, two aluminums. Okay, so that's 54 grams of aluminum in 102 grams of aluminum oxide. Now, if I go and hit my calculator on this, you end up with 0.5294, which since we were working with only three sig figs before, means that I should ignore the four. And furthermore, this isn't a percentage. So I need to change it into a percentage. So I'm doing two things, working with the sig figs, and I'm turning it into a percentage. 52.9, even though I, you know, I'm getting rid of the four. The four is gone because the sig figs. I can go ahead and say, because the only other thing in aluminum oxide is oxygen, I could just say, let me subtract from 100, and I can find out what the percent of oxygen is. Okay, all right, we've got the right numbers. So by mass, and of course it's by mass because if we were just talking about by moles, it would be the numbers that are down here as subscripts. Okay, now let's do this thing with the iron because these two different types. You probably have never heard of wustite unless you have a rock hound somewhere in your family. Hematite is a little more well known because they will actually polish that up and sell it as a semi-precious stone for beads and so on and so forth. But let us ask the question, what is the percent of iron in each of these compounds? Okay, let's start with the Wustite. That's got a nice one. So the FeO, well, that's a one-to-one. -one. That's, that's pretty easy, right? So I'm going to want how much iron, that will be one mole of iron in one mole of FeO. So I have to go and look it up. 55.845. Okay. I'm going to make it a little easier on myself and just round that to 55.85. Okay. That would be the grams of iron. Now, that is combined with oxygen. Okay, so I better write something down. 55.85 and then plus 16.00, because we're rounding back a little bit. So 71.85 grams of FeO. I hit the calculator on that, and I get 0.7773. That's not a percentage though, right? That means it's 77.73% iron. Now let's look at the other one. It is F. E2O3. So there are two moles of iron in every one mole of Fe2O3. I'm going to have to double the 55. That's going to give me 111.7. And then when I add the three oxygens to it, 111.7. Three of these, 48.0. 
159.7 grams of iron up here and grams of my sample of hematite. I hit the calculator. I get 0.6994. Okay. Changing that to a percentage, we get 69.94% iron. So if you were a miner and you wanted to go and say, hey, which of these two ores would I rather use in order to extract iron? You'd be like, well, I'd rather find this and use that to extract iron than use this to extract iron. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can work out how much is oxygen, right? Once again, in both of these samples, there's only two things iron and oxygen. So you could just subtract from 100 and come up with the oxygen. There's the oxygen. And if I wanted the oxygen here again, subtract from 100. Yep, okay. So what do I do here? I'm gonna have a three and a zero and a zero and a six, right? Okay, I'm happy.